Hi, this video is a companion piece to the hat I am creating for the Red Scarf fundraiser for Bare Naked Wools. Right now you can see that um, we just have a few pieces here. This is our colored cable band that goes around the bottom of the hat, which as you can see is not connected. We're going to overlap that by an inch and add buttons that are not really functional, but I think will look very nice. We're attaching our buttons. I've pinned the edges so they line up just right. I'm going to choose where I want my buttons. I'm not exactly spacing them out evenly. I just have one at the top, one at the bottom, and one in the middle. I'm gonna sew those down through both layers of fabric. That's gonna hold my band together. And now we have come a long way since our last cut because we have sewn together the band into a circle and picked up stitches all along this edge to form the crown. I'm gonna show you on the opposite edge which stick is, stitches to pick up. I don't want these, the outermost stitches, because I found that that made a very open, hole-filled look. I want these stitches, the first, the second set of purl stitches in from the edge. And I'm picking up about seven out of every eight stitches as I go. So I picked them up and then I knit them in a knit three, purl three rib all the way up. And you'll see specific instructions for that in the pattern. And then once I finished the crown, I blocked the whole thing because the cable knitting expands when you block it. And this takes on a better shape. And now that it's dry, we're going to flip it inside out. And then I'm going to tuck all these ends in and fold the cuff up and pin it all the way around. And then when it's done, that gives us a nice edge on the bottom. And when it's done, so when I've sewn it all the way around, it will um, form a nice round hat. And we're just going to keep those loose ends tucked in. We don't even need to worry about them. Here is the hat all pinned. The cuff has been pinned up to the crown. Um, I, When I pin, I always put a pin here and then flip it around and put a pin here and then a pin here and a pin here just to make sure I'm spacing it evenly and then I fill in the gaps. So now I'm going to show you how I sew it. I use a simple back stitch because I find that they're secure and nicely stretchy. We want to make sure it stretches to fit over our heads. I'm going to do a small stitch. I should say I'm being careful to sew the top layer of the overlapped edge over the bottom layer so that I don't have a weird edge sticking out. I'm gonna pull that through and do a tiny stitch right there to hold it in place. We will weave in the end later. And I want my stitches on the top to be small, but I'm less worried about the inside because no one's gonna see that. And so I'm just, this is desperate to get caught in there, holding it carefully and stitching my way around and as was the case with the scarf, once we're done stitching, that edge is going to fold down and cover our stitches. That's why we give ourselves a couple of purl stitches at the edge of our cabling so that our sewing can be hidden. I'm going to do this all the way around, and then my hat is going to be finished.